Traditions and customs are national treasure. Kazakh people observe traditions over many centuries. The Great Steppe is an amulet of the country. You can watch the customs and traditions of the Kazakhs in the Modern Nomads program. Today on the program, Kazakh horse breeding culture, Kazakh horses. The horse played a colossal role in the formation of the Kazakhs as a nation. Horse in Kazakhstan may be named as a national horse because it plays a huge role in the fate of the Kazakh people. The horse was a friend and a comrade in a literal meaning because they never left without each other. A horse was not only a unique meaning of conveyance and a source of full value nourishment of man. A horse was and now is a symbol of Kazakh life, not only the nomadic life, but life in general because for a settled man, the symbol of life is a house. But for the Kazakhs, the horse was as a house, because it was only reliable essence that could help in a difficult nomadic life. Kazakhs had huge territories, nomadic expanses by which they wandered every season from summer pastures to autumn pastures, from autumn pastures to winter pastures, from winter pastures to spring pastures, and from spring pastures to summer. In a base of nomadism by seasons of year was lied a principle of careful relation to nature, which was checked by time and proved a wisdom of our ancestors. Uh, the horse's bones found in the Botai Reserve were determined with histological analysis. The histological structure found in the histological analysis gives the structure of the entire horse, which means that it is derived from the Kazakh land. The horse in the world is defined as Kazakh origin. A horse has been a partner of the Kazakhs for centuries. Horses can offer transport and their milk as a drink. Our ancestry saved his land with the help of horses. They grew horses, dividing them for milk and meat, races, hunting and for different parties. A good jumper is the dream of any Kazakh. The Kazakhs learned how to keep livestock and they engaged in agriculture from one place to another. In the century, the development of education and science, there are some people who still keep livestock and so bred based on the steppe science. The most difficult one is horse breeding, but the horse is close to the soul of the Kazakhs. Today our program is dedicated to the horse breeding art. This art achieved its own result in the history of the Kazakh nation. Kazakh horses belong to the steppe horse. The steppe horse means that in the winter and summer, the horse sees its own day and lives on its own way. That's why the Kazakh horses are here. Further, Kazakhs will have a family of horses. Currently, four breeds of Kazakh horses are approved by the state. They are Kazakh horses of close type, Kazakh Mugaljar horse. It was registered in 1998 as a horse breed. And the fourth horse breed is in Kazakh sport direction, Kostanai horse breed. This type of horse are seeded in 1951. Specifically, Koshim horse was approved in 1976. <laughs> Nowadays, the country is implementing a research and development of the Kostanai breed and issuing a new horse breeding, Kazakh Tulpar. For this purpose, the breeding plan of Kostanai breeding horses developed and introduced at the horse breeding center, Kazakh Tulpari. The runners from this factory are winning teams at the country's championships. These works are being carried out in the direction of improvement of other horse breeds. Koshim 
Koshim horse is a horse after breeding beautiful English horses, Don horse, Karabayir horses, and during the 30 to 40 years there was selection. As a result, Koshim horse breed appeared in 1976. The Kazakh Mughaljar breed horse breeds with beautiful Kazakh horses in Oktobe region by consolidating and further promoting the beautiful horses that have come out through the national selection after it was given the name Mughaljar's horse breed. The horse has been a partner of the Kazakh for centuries. Horses offer transport and milk as a drink. Our ancestry saved his land with the help of horses. A peculiarity of criticizing a horse of the jam was left from it. The horses have different types and kinds. A specialist of horses divided them into several types. They grew horses, dividing them for milk and meat, races, hunting and for different parties. A good jumper is the dream of any Kazakh. In 1935, Kusayin Babalik Uli bought a horse from Urumqi and rode the horse to Shaweshek city. However, this horse ran away to his home district, Tikias. This Karakar horse passed 1,200 kilometers from Tikias to Urumqi and was brought to Shaweshek. Nevertheless, this horse was able to safely come to his hometown. Kazakh horses have a number of outstanding qualities. Kazakh horse possibly developed with the Kazakhs. Through much research and analysis of pottery and other artifacts that were found in the Kazakh land, the world of history and science have decided that the Kazakh people use horses since ancient times. So you may ask, what does this have to do with current times? And the answer is that the history of the horse in Kazakhstan is seminal to the culture of the country. While the people of Kazakhstan were riding horses thousands of years ago, horse riding remains an extremely popular sport in Kazakhstan today. Kazakh horses do not grow high at all. Therefore, when it is divided into zoo technical science, as the milk-bearing horse breed, and there is a kind of Adai horse which belongs to the second type of Kazakh horses. It is grown in the Mangistau and West Kazakhstan regions. They're good for riding as these horses became thin, therefore they are able to be resistant for a long distance. It is called the Adai horse, but not considered as a horse breed. Any animal, whether it is a horse or something else, needs human love. We are nomads, we've grown up riding horses. The Kazakhs say after a time riding a horse, it means after becoming conscious. The horse feels you if you are scared or not. They think the same as we do. They can recognize people well. Not everybody is able to be engaged in horse breeding. If the horse is overlooked, it is your enemies. If the horse whistles, it means the wind. It is not always easy to feed them. In the winter, if they are overlooked, they can move away up to 200 kilometers. Horse breeding is one of the most difficult jobs. But people who show resourcefulness keep them not for riches only, but also for treatment. On August 21, 1947, when a man, Kusayin, died, his horse was next to his grave. The horses feel everything. <laughs> We get a lot from animals, we are especially close to horses. I like horses very much. I have been engaged in horse breeding for a long time. They say Kazakhs are as stubborn as horses. For example, my temper changes when I ride a horse. When we ride, we become formidable, and when we dismount, we become timid and shy. While riding, the man becomes strong. There is a saying, the animal has the same character as its host. We were interested in asking the meaning of these words from our elders. The stallion in the herd resembles its owner. The dog at home resembles its owner. 
It has been like this for a long time. As you have been keeping and feeding them, they also try to adapt to you. You also adapt to the animals you keep. Your character also becomes the same as your animal. It changes. The man who is engaged in horse breeding has the same character as the horse. Every region of our country have their own methods of taking care of horses. I think we are the best horse breeders who know all the opportunities to keep the horse in a good condition. Horses require some form of shelter. They need shade in the summer and protection from wind and the cold in winter. This can be a barn, horse stall, tree or a simple shade covering depending on the climate. And the Kazakh horses are close to the humans. They are well enough trained. Constantly they are fast and show dignity. They pasture in the steppe in all four seasons. These horses are able to feel autumn, winter and cold weather. Therefore, they eat less than other times. Jagda Babalik wrote his searching works about horses. He knows very well the horse's condition and everything that is connected with a horse. The color of the horse, their breedings are mentioned by him. The ethnographer named each horse with their ages and all the traditions are also searched by him. We can say another singularity about a horse's harness. As a horse breeder, we will be able to decorate the horse harness. For example, someone who has been riding on the edge of someone's chest and says rudeness is said to be in a jungle calls him a liar and calls for discipline. He describes himself as being in his own hands, in his own way. There was found information of our warrior Kaban Bai from Chinese archives. It was written his height and weight. Kaban Bai Batir weighed 160 kilograms. If we add 20 kilos of his carrying weapons, there will be 180 kilograms of his weight. It must be a horse carrying 180 kilograms. Today's horses are not able to carry such a weight. That is why the horse is called as Kazanat. Kaban Bai has taken his horse from Boran Bai B, who had tens of thousands of horses. If that horse's bones will be found, it would be a great achievement. Then we will be able to prove it. As a consequence, the horse was big. In ancient times, we have different types of horses for shepherding, for milk, and for meat as well. <laughs> The ethnographer Jagda Babalik Uli wrote, The history of Kazakhs is the story of the horses. Nomads train not only their eagles and dogs for hunting, they also train their horses. A horse is a hunt animal. When the host hunts, the blood of the horse boils and they jerk their hooves. It is the consciousness of the horse. The Kazakhs appreciated this peculiarity of the horse, because it is a reliable partner in a steady transport. Our nations classified the horse by its age, for example, fowl, one-year-old fowl, three-year-old stallion, two-year-old mare, four-year-old mare, etc. Each one has their own peculiarity. In the Ukun Shkorai, Bizding Songa Kinistic Dower, the Birg Adibit Tirde, Kizisede, Bizde Zlkhan Bagata, Kazakh Sabagata, Yit. As we know, in the literature of the Soviet era, the Kazakh horses were considered for meat and milk. In fact, there were horses that were riding for a long distance or during the incursion of enemies. Unfortunately, our horse was not considered as a thoroughbred horse. Arabian horses are one of the ancient horses in the world. 
a kal tekiya is one of the oldest horses. Kazakh people called Arabic horses a goat's head. They have beautiful black eyes, thin ears, average height and short loin. They have round hooves. In general, Arabic horses are the horses that can run for a long time, and jumped above 50 and even 100 kilometers. Nowadays, the strongest horses are Arabic and English ones. Arabian horses can be our frisky horses. According to the information, Yerkin Bek Jair Bek Uli had 15,000 horses. There were 20,000 horses of a man named Sapak who lived in the Janarka region of central Kazakhstan. Iman Jusip songs, we are able to hear the following words. Kuandik and Suyundik had a herd of horses, 40,000 horses drinking water from the Niyaz Ayuli and Karali Lake. From here we can see as the Kazakh people were rich. However, there were trouble days for the Kazakh horses in difficult times. The horses were grazing 10,000 on the steppe. Among them, there were horses for racing. When the horse breeding has taken place in Kazakh society, the Soviet government was created. The Soviet power confiscated all the horses of the rich people. Our ancestors gave them all the horses. Their horses belong to the collective farm, the state farm of the Soviet government. The second collapse was when all the horses were killed during the famine in 1932 and in 1917. When we had World War II in 1942, the horses also took part in the war. All Kazakh horses were sent to Russia and abroad. It is a history of the horse. Currently, these horses came back with other names to the Kazakh land when we received our independence. Folk musician Akan Seri praised his horse and his songs with the following words. Kulagar, you were a steed from birth. You gave me your uncle to be fed. And when Kipchak and Argin celebrated the Astoy, on the writing by Ga, you are faster than all the horses. Kulagur, Tupar's son, the eagle's child. Twenty times you, by three years, caught up with a goat. The news that you died, the step forty. You read the prayer over you. <laughs> There are a lot of Kazakh poets who dedicate their poems to the horses as we mentioned above. Jumatai Zhakibayev, a well-known poet of the Zhitsu steppe, had a horse, Kinej Jirin. His brother sold his horse and he was really upset about his horse. For example, Agai Shah Asagulova sings Kokpar song and performs on the stage. The song was written by Jumatai Zhakibayev. Mukagali Makatayev also dedicated a poem to his horse. If you are looking for me, do not waste your time. I won't be in the city in a frosty February weather. I will be with my horse. You can find me there. <laughs> Abai Kunanbaev wrote also a poem, Ilyas Jansul Gurov, dedicated to the horse, his Zhir composition, while a poet, Kakim Biek Salikov, wrote a poem as well. 
a well-known composer, Tursin Ghazi Rahimov, wrote a song, Yerkia Jirin, customs and traditions of their own country. Let's keep the horse breeding culture. 